Oh, it's recording. Whoops, whoopsies. What's up, guys? So welcome back to another episode of Spirit DIYs. And guess what? This is a collab with Caroline Makeup. I hope we got your name right. I really don't. I should check right now. Hold on. Wait. Sweet. It's gonna take a while. I'm just, mm. Ooh, I got a new subscriber. Thanks, guys. And no, I do not have an iPhone like every other rich person. No, I have a Samsung Galaxy Lite. And it's my first phone, so... Yeah. Got my first phone when I was 16. Go Aperna. Whoop whoop. It's a collab with Caroline Mary Makeup. I'm so sorry that I got your name wrong. I thought it was Caroline Makeup and I'm just... Sorry. But this is a collab with Caroline Mary Makeup and we are going to show you some... DIY room decor so it's gonna be really fun and I was really looking forward to this video even though it took me forever to make because this week has been just so hectic so thanks guys for holding on and I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get on to it so for the first DIY we're gonna make a good memories jar slash music jar that I really really like it's so beautiful so convenient and a great decoration for your room so for this DIY, you're going to need a hot glue gun, scissors, twine, a jar, and a music sheet. This music sheet is hard and so that I first dyed a paper with coffee and then I printed the music sheet on so that the ink wouldn't get off by dyeing it. So the first step is to simply measure your music sheet as to see how much you actually want and mark it down accordingly. Then you're going to take your scissors, yes, I still have my Santa Claus scissors, and you're simply going to cut off the marked area. Now this is how my vintage music sheet looks. Now I'm just going to wrap it around my jar just to see if it fits accordingly. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and hot glue one end of the music sheet to the jar. And then I'm going to add another layer of hot glue where my other end is and then wrap around my music sheet and glue the other end down. And then you're going to add your twine to the top of your jar. For some reason I had a really really hard time doing this. But you're just going to wrap it around. You could hot glue it down but to make mine secure I simply took a flower pin and attached it to the end. Now you can add as much or as little decoration as you need. Just make it look pretty and make it yours and unique. And then the final step of this DIY is to write down your great memories. I already had a whole list of them because I started this jar by the beginning of 2015 but I didn't decorate it until now. And yes, I am left handed. Thumbs up for lefties. So I'm not going to use all the paper of the index card. I'm just going to cut out that little that I wrote on, fold it up, and then add it to my jar along with my other great memories of 2015 so far. This DIY is a great decoration for your desk and a great mood lifter, especially if you're having a down day. You just need some good memories to put you back up. And so this jar is great to look through the memories of a great year and to make you feel happy. For the next DIY, we're going to make a twig candle. And yeah, it may sound weird, but it looks so friggin' beautiful when you light it up. Just wait for it. Ta-da! This looks so friggin' pretty in the dark, and it's so soothing, it's so beautiful, and it's just a great project to do. So without further ado, let's get on to it. For this DIY, you're gonna need some twigs, some hot glue, and a candle. I simply got the twigs from a backyard. And as for the candle, it's called Romance. I don't really know what the company is. Pop off the top of your candle, break some twigs so it fits the length of the candle, and hot glue those twigs down. It's just that easy. I'm gonna glue those twigs all the way around your candle so it makes that great foresty effect, and when you light it up, it's gonna look so friggin' pretty. So this is how the unlit candle looks, and this is how it looks when it's lit up. I hope you guys found this DIY as easy as convenient as I did. It's so friggin' pretty, especially when it's lit up. I mean, if I wish I could show you guys the shadows that came up on the wall when I lit it up. It's just such a friggin' awesome look.
Now for the next DIY, we're going to make an awesome, beautiful collage of pictures taken from magazines and different reading materials. The first thing I'm going to need is a whiteboard. I got mine from Walmart. Some magazine clippings. I got these from Sherry Hill magazine and they're just so friggin pretty dresses. You're going to need some perfume samples that I got from Macy magazine. Some magnets. I got this one when I was in Amsterdam. And some general tickets that you guys may have collected. This DIY is probably the easiest of them all. All you're going to do is take the materials that you've collected and put them on your board and make it as pretty as you like and organize it the way that you like. As for me, I basically just put it all close together and put these beautiful magazine models and these dresses and these perfume samples that I really like and I've collected over the years. And basically, you just can do whatever you want. It's your room. Make it look unique and make it look pretty. And then there you have it, your very own decorations of beautiful magazine clippings, dresses, models, whatever. Just put on whatever you like and make it look pretty, make it look you, and make it look unique. I hope you guys enjoy these DIYs. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button because more are to come. Especially those Valentine's Day decors. Yeah, they're coming up with some room decors and some gift ideas. So keep on watching guys. video if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below or hit that subscribe button because it's not gonna hurt you it's free I don't bite and hey you get updated with my videos which by the way I'm making another collab with a youtuber and I don't want to get the name wrong so I'm not gonna say it but it's coming out February blah, blah, February 12th never say that mm. February 12th and we're going to make a Valentine's Day lookbook. So from day to night, and it's going to be friggin' awesome. It's going to be like two to three outfits, and you guys are going to love it. Because from the reactions that I got from my other OOTDs and fashion kind of videos, everyone loved it. So thank you guys. And if you guys want to see more, then just comment down below. If you have any video suggestions, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye, guys.